Hello, party people, it is Will Pemble, and today I want to build the base of the cart. I still don't have any idea really what the cart is going to look like, but I know it's going to be made out of this. This is going to be the base of the cart, and what I'm thinking is with the, with the wider gauge track that we have, with this 24-inch wide track, we can make the cart a little bit wider. And so what I think I want to do is I want to make the base of the cart I want to make it also 24 inches uh, from center line to center line. And I guess, and I honestly don't know exactly how long to make the cart, right? And so if it's two feet wide, if I'm like sitting here riding along, if it's two feet wide, I can make it pretty long and pretty comfortable, right? Pretty roomy. I'll lean back like that. And so maybe it'll, maybe I'll make it go like from from like where my butt would sit until the front of my heels and I've got lots and lots of room in there. So maybe, I don't know, two feet by, maybe as much as three and a half feet. So maybe, uh, I don't know, like 24 by 42 inches. And um, so let's call it that. Let's call it 24 by 42 uh, and see where we get. A thing that I wanna try is I wanna try to make the cart, the base for the cart, I wanna try not to cut two 24 inch pieces, two 42 inch pieces, and then miter them and weld them together. What I wanna to try to do is I wanna to try to make it one continuous piece. And so I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting with uh, the slightest bit of geometry and uh, my angle cutter and little bits and pieces of ideas that I've thought up myself and stolen from others. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna get started with that right now and what we're gonna do my first trick is going to be to bust out the old compass from uh, geometry class uh, back in the 1900s. So what I figure I need for this adventure here is a compass and some blue tape that makes it easy to draw on things with the pencil of my compass and a measuring tape. And then, of course, we'll also need an angle grinder to do some cutting and a welding machine, all of which we have uh, at the ready. So this is where I want my inside corner to be. I want to take this piece and I want to bend it around this way. So basically this is kind of what I'm hoping I can get out of the thing. Now what I need to do is I need to cut some stuff. If I want to keep this one piece of steel, I want to just for, for strength and then and also I can have a nice beautiful rounded corner here. And so what I want to see is I want to see if I take my inch and a half here, uh, my inch and a half radius, I want to see kind of a nice, ooh, nicer than that anyway, I want to see a nice beautiful turn, all right, so that's what I want the corner, that's what I want the corner to be, I want it to wrap around this way so I have a nice beautiful rounded corner on the edges of my cart instead of a, a mitered jagged base, and so if you imagine the, the beam coming up this way and then this is the turn it makes and then we've got steel coming out this way, how, how and what pieces of metal do we cut out of this in order to get this thing to wrap around and then we can weld it together? Um, I've given it a little bit of thought and done a little bit of research and what I've come up with is if I take this corner here, if I take one fourth of the circumference of a three inch diameter circle because this is a half an inch radius and so and then I think uh, so if I take that pi is 3.14159 and so on and so forth I multiply uh, the diameter of the circle three inches times pi I get to 9.2 something I divided that by four and basically where I get to is I get to about two and five sixteenths inches so the length of this quarter circle here this quarter turn the length of this quarter turn is about two and five sixteenths inches. And so what I wanna do is I wanna take that, that line and I wanna straighten it out over this part of this track. So I go two inches, all right, two, one, two, three, four, five sixteenths. There's my five sixteenths mark. There's two and five sixteenths inches. And now if I were to take this corner and straighten this curve out into a straight line, it would end up right here. So the idea that I've got is I want to take this metal 
and I want to use an angle grinder and I want to cut this metal that I've colored in here. I want to cut all of this out of the beam and I want to do it straight down. I want to do the exact same thing on the other side. Before I cue up the banjo music, you might want to uh, click the like button, click the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so that you can be advised when we got new stuff going on. I am grateful for the support. And while you're doing that, I'll finish up making all these markings and get to work. Takes a whole lot of grinding wheel, but when we get to the end, and we end up with pretty close approximation of a 90 degree angle. I gotta chop out a little bit more of this, but I think it's gonna look okay. Turns out, let's push this down. Now, so that's, that's not too bad. What I think I can do is clamp these guys together and then weld and fill in these holes a little bit. And I'll bet you that ends up looking like one piece of metal. We'll see what happens next. Okay, as you can see, I've got a little bit of cheating to do with the welds, right? This thing is all clamped together and it's square and it's level and it's all gonna be good, but I'm gonna have to do some sort of filling in to make my weld convincing. Uh, the whole strength of the whole system is not gonna rely on this one corner. There's gonna be cross beams and other stuff in there, so I'm not super worried about structural integrity, but I would like it to be beautiful. So let's see what we can do about that. Okay, so I would say for a first attempt, that is, I can tell you that it is a right angle. I can tell you that it's pretty darn strong. It's also pretty darn hot at the moment. And, you know, 
I'm still a terrible welder, um, but I feel like that's gonna be okay. I think my next trick is gonna be to go get some dinner and go to bed and wake up tomorrow. And when I wake up tomorrow, I will finish turning this one long piece of used to be perfectly straight and now has a perfectly cool right angle turn in it a uh, piece of metal i'm going to make three more bends in this and turn it into a rectangle and i think we agreed that the rectangle was going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 24 inches by 42 inches and that's going to fit really nicely over our track that's going to be kind of awesome and um and then the wheels, as you might recall, the wheels are gonna stick out a little bit farther. The outside width of the wheel assemblies that we built in the last video, that is, I think those are like 28 and a half inch total. So that will, they'll stick out a little bit farther and so it'll still have kind of a wide stance when it sits on the track. But the whole thing is gonna be like really cool and stable and awesome and, uh, so I, I remain encouraged. I really, I really am like, I'm kind of proud of this. I think, uh, I think we've, uh, I think we've done a pretty good job, you and me. So um, I'll just, I'll just keep on keeping on. Um, yeah, let's go and uh, I'll get some food. I'll take a nap and then I'll be, uh, I'll be back and we'll, uh, we'll keep on going.